What's up everybody? So this is Kunchi from Cooking with Kunchi and today we're gonna do this video of how to get the best pulled pork from your Bronco drum smoker. And this is from Oklahoma Joe's. So check this out. I'm gonna show you guys how we set up the minion method, how we do the pork, and yo, just stick around. This is gonna be an awesome video. So first I want to let you guys know that the BMB charcoal is my fuel of choice. You will always see that in my videos. All right, today we are using the BMB oak lump charcoal and some post oak chunks. And we're gonna slash open our cryovac with our pork butts. And I like to score the fat cap just to expose some more of the meat to some seasoning and expose some more of the meat to some smoke. Today we're using my homemade Jamaican jerk rub. You can find this recipe on my TikTok and Instagram. Now, if you guys have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe to the page. We appreciate that so much. That helps us do this really great work that we're trying to do here. All right, so here's our Jamaican jerk rub. We have our fire burnt in. Now we're just gonna drop our deflector in and then we're gonna get this set up for 225 low and slow all night. Now, if you notice after a while that your Bronco drum smoker is not up to the temp that you want. The only thing you gotta do is just open that smoker a little bit more, give it about three minutes, and then that fire will get a little bit more oxygen, and then you should get up to the temp that you need. So now we're sitting at 225. We're gonna drop our intake down to one, and we're gonna let this thing ride all night. Went to bed for about six hours, come back out and look at these beauties. So now that these are about a temp of 160 or so, and the bark is looking good, it's time to throw it in an aluminum foil pan. No liquid, no fat, nothing at all goes into my foil pans when it comes to my pulled pork. Now we're gonna put these back on the smoker, keep the temp the same, we're gonna let these just go all the way until they're about 205 or until they are probe tender. Now I wanna let you guys know, if you open your drum smoker and you have to do something and you see that your temp spikes up, do not change your vents, do not do anything crazy. Just close it down, keep it the same, walk away, don't drink a beer or do whatever you got to do, but that thing is going to come all the way back down to where you had it because that fire is not going to keep raging while the lid is closed. So now when our pork butts probe tender, and this is saying about 207, the other one is saying about 205. Now it's time to pull these, let them rest. All right, so now we're going to cover these in the foil pan. We're just going to let this rest not in a cooler today because we want to go pull these to serve some sandwiches. So let these rest for about a half hour and look at how much juice that these pork butts produced just by themselves. So as you can see, we don't need to add any apple juice. Don't need to add anything else unless that is a stylistic choice of yours. So now that the pork butts are all rested and ready to go, we're gonna go in, open these up, and they should produce a little bit more juices just during the rest period. And so right now what we're gonna do is just pull these bones out. We'll see that they come out super clean. Now all we gotta do is shred them up, and they are ready to serve. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the subscribe button, 
drop a like, drop a comment, ask your questions. I engage with all of my viewers as much as I can. And if you want to see anything that I use in my barbecuing, go check out my Amazon store. Follow me for more. Find me on all the socials at Cooking with Kunchi. Yo, have a good one.